Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Dragon Soul video and today I am gonna be uh, starting to build up a new team. Now in the past I've made a video which I called in quotation marks the best heroes. The reason I did that is because um, yeah the best heroes are always changing. There's no such thing as one combination of best heroes. So um, here let me scroll down really quick. As you can see, what on my last video was the top 1 in Platinum 1, now I'm ranked 43. What that means is that I'm getting beat really often. Um, I really haven't fought today either, but either way, these guys are better than me now. And that spider's up here, and a lot of these guys have uh, new heroes that somehow ended up getting better than the ones I got. So what I'm going to do today in this video is show you guys how you could uh, build up a team. And the team I want to build up uh, that I think might be a good combination. I've never tried this out before, but what essentially what I want to do is I want to have a team that is mostly defense based and like uh, debuffs as well with um, along with um, something that could hit really hard. So I want a really strong defense and something that could put out a lot of damage uh, while also making the opponent not be able to do anything so what i mean by that is i want to get a i want to make a team with uh the wolf spirit or spirit wolf i should say uh the barbarian um the bone dragon to reduce their uh, energy when the match starts the dark horse and i also want to add the cyclops shaman um into the mix so uh to again slow them down a little bit and same with the uh, spirit wolf so i'm gonna start off by starting to level this guy up as much as i can um yeah so this isn't gonna happen in this video this is gonna be a progression and then within a few um a few days or so i'll show you guys uh the results and how i'm progressing with that uh but what i am gonna do today is i am gonna show you how i will attach the runes so for example, um, one particular character, like the way I decide what kind of runes I want to add to uh, certain characters are based on what I know about them. For example, Spirit Wolf, I know that the best attribute that she has is that um, when her adrenaline's full, she puts out this buff that, um, uh, what's from call it, stops the opponent from... Uh, from activating their adrenaline bar special and as the barbarian as soon as her adrenaline bar is full she speeds everything up um, and that's uh, like I was saying that's her best attribute and same with the uh, with the Cyclops this best attribute is when it has a um, high energy but something like dark horse for dark horse I wouldn't want to use runes that speed them up because that won't benefit them at all because uh, his adrenaline, full adrenaline kick isn't that good. But what is good about him is his defense and his defense buff and all that. So I would, um, for this guy, I would like to use runes that uh, increase those attributes. Like increase his shield and so forth. Um, oops. So the other one I was going to use was Bone Dragon. Same with Bone Dragon. You know, like, when his adrenaline's full, his special attack isn't really that good. But, uh, I wouldn't want him dying really quickly, so one thing I could do to, uh, the Bone Dragon is that I could increase his defense and magic resistance and all of that so he could last longer in the battle. Um, I, I might speed him up too, because, uh, I think I think his, uh, special attack does lower the, uh, stamina of the opponent, so, um, that might be beneficial in the long run so yeah the three that i'm definitely gonna have or four that i'm definitely gonna put uh speed on them is the uh, spirit wolf bradbarian um and the cyclops for sure and then bone dragon maybe and um the dark horse i will not make him faster because that won't benefit him at all so these are the runes right here as long as i have i believe two of these I gain 20% energy. That's good because I want to start off the energy uh, strong. But I also want to add speed. 
Now, I can't remember on the top of my head which one adds speed, but I will try to put runes onto them that have the speed attribute. So, um, let's start with Spirit Wolf. So, for Spirit Wolf, again, I want this one. I want her to start off with high energy so that she could uh, debuff the opponent as fast as possible. So, oh, look at that. This one has a starting energy. Um, increased even with the 20% increase on top of that. Um, but I'm looking for movement speed. Let's check that. I think this might be a better option because movement speed might give me a more energy than if she started off with energy to begin with. So I'm looking through these runes to see which one would be uh, the best in this slot. So again, I'm looking for speed. See, this one's start energy. That looks beneficial, but I think speed is better in the long run. And then again, if it doesn't work out, I'll end up changing them in the future. So I'm going to go with this one because it's got movement speed. And then I'll level it up and it won't even... It'll, I'll add more attributes than those. So again, I'm looking for all the ones that have um, speed. So this one's lifesteal. Lifesteal might be good. But uh, we'll hold off on that one really quick. Let's try some, find some more speed ones. Hmm. Looks like I'm running out of runes. Starting energy. Starting energy and base damage. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to um, create some of these. Oh, I don't have any. So let's just, I guess, try and see... Well, start energy. I think that's just as good for now. So let's check the start energy. So this one has unknown bonus. We're going to leave those out of it for now. So this one has start energy, crit damage, bonus crit damage, and accuracy. That's good because uh, we need the accuracy to hit. Oh, wait. Never mind. We don't want to change that run. All right. So let's check these. Life steal, Larger shields. This one would be good for the, uh, for the dark horse. But um, I think out of these two, life steal would be better cooldown reduction okay let's go with that one and then we still got the extra bonuses that we won't know what they are yet all right so on this one we have armor growth longer disabled that's good because uh she has a disabled so that would be a good rune to put here and then for the last one we are gonna do this one also has longer disabled but we'll uh we'll hold off on that one really quick uh, I would rather have start energy over longer disables, but that's improved healing. She doesn't really heal So let's check here. Let's go with longer disables um, All right, never mind I'm gonna go with start energy anyways because there's still another bonus that I don't know what she'll get All right, so now let's check these really quick This one increases health, but and you only need two of them Basic damage, skill power, nah, no. Oh, this is the attack speed and you need four, okay. So I'm gonna use lightning ones for the Bradbarian. All right. So, as I was saying, I'm going to be using, so yeah, now let me see which ones I have for, so start energy, that's good, we'll, we'll go with that. Now, since I chose the tree here, it'd probably be convenient to get the other tree perk as well, so that I could get at least an increase in health. Let's see, max growth, basic, longer disables. And movement speed, perfect, that's what I was looking for. Alright, so now it's not good enough to leave them at green, so I'm going to upgrade them all. Well, I'll probably leave that for later. I'll leave the upgrading for later, because uh, I don't know what I'm going to need for the other ones yet. And I might still need to uh, do some more stuff. So for this one, I want to do all, the th all thunder, because I want her to move as fast as possible. So, let's see, now, larger shields, no... Improved healing, start energy, that's kind of good, but I think we can do better than that. Let's see, these are unknown, so we'll leave that out of it for now. 
Life steal, electricity, no, nah, electric damage doesn't help. Expertise, life steal. Toxic damage, magic penetration, start energy. This one, this one looks okay. Because you have start energy and, um, and expertise. Those are pretty good. That makes her better at what she does. So let's try, let's check these. Longer shields, bonus crit, piercing damage. That's kind of all right. Crit rating, she doesn't do necromancy damage. Oh, and if you ever want to know what they do or what's good about them, you could, uh, you could scroll down right here and you could see what they do and don't do. See, like this one doesn't do toxic damage and that rune has toxic damage, so that's not going to get used. And it doesn't have necromancy damage and all that, so you want to make sure that you don't have as many of the ones at the bottom that says not used as possible. That'll optimize the, uh, that means you optimize the runes. Alright, so let's see, let's keep checking these. Let's start down here. So, longer shields, see, I don't want that because she doesn't put up shields. Um, crit rating growth, that's good, but again, she doesn't have necromancy. Crit rating, no. Expertise, tenacity grows, piercing damage, that might be alright. See, water damage, doesn't have water damage. Life steal dodge is kind of good. Doesn't get hit as hard. Life steal dodge, cooldown reduction, bashing damage, no. Fury, nope. Um, larger shield, start energy. I guess we could use start energy. We're, we're gonna try to make her do her little quick thing as quick as possible. So not only she's gonna be fast, but she's gonna start off with a little bit of energy. Now let's check this one. Cooldown reduction, life steal, electric damage, nah. Start energy again, that's good. We want her fast and at high energy when she starts. Uh, sometimes I call energy stamina, please uh, don't, don't, uh, don't worry about that. I mean the same thing. If you ever hear me say stamina or energy, it's the same thing. So this one, attack speed, perfect. Now we're going to be even faster than fast. All right, so we have a bolt taken care of. Uh, I think we could also make use of something that has two runes as required. If you're wondering how I know that, it's that thing at the bottom. You see how by this orange rune here, to the left it says hail set, and then it has parentheses two. That means you need two runes for it to uh, have the effect right under 30% accuracy. That's a pretty good effect, so let's see what we have here. For, this is the only room I have in that slot. What about here? I don't have any of those. So it looks like I can't use that one just because I don't have the right runes. Um, this one requires four. I guess life steal. We could do less something with life steal. What about that? Skill power, start energy. Perfect. That looks good enough to me. And now the middle one for life steal. I guess we're going to have to use this one. Let's see what we get. Boom. Damage growth, tenacity growth. That's good enough. All right, so this is what I gave her. So she's got a bolt set, which gives her 15% more attack speed and 200 plus uh, blood uh, life steal. So I think that one's set. And then I'll just stop there for now. And uh, on the next video, I will show you guys what I ended up with and what progress I am making towards uh, getting these guys to what I want them to be. Again, for this one, I want her to be fast so i'm going to put all the lightning as well so that she could do her special attack as fast as possible and i want to start off with some stamina or as much stamina as i can so that being said guys thank you all for watching and i know it was a short video but um or maybe it wasn't i don't know yet but uh the next video i'll do it's going to be an update of that and maybe when a contest opens up uh i'll show you guys what i think would be a good tip on on getting some extra points on that so i'll leave you guys off with the battle let's see who i'm gonna so you guys could see how incompetent my team is now so i'm gonna try to battle this guy like he's at 112,000. so i mean technically i should be able to hang in there right actually let's see i mean we'll give it a shot it looks tough guys it looks tough but let's see and then again yeah on the next video uh, I'll have an update of the other team I'm making, which will again include 
the uh oh come on damn lots of stuff going on yeah come on we witch is still alive that's good yes so close come on we witch oh my that celestial dragon thing is kicking butt oh man that was a good battle anyways again <laughs> Like always, I lost, but like I said, on the next video, I'm going to have an update of that team I'm making, and uh, and we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. We'll see if it puts up a good fight against these new guys, and again, I'm, I want to get them all to 119, and I want to have them maxed out, um, so it's going to be quite a bit before you actually see me battling with these guys, because like, look at this, I've never used this guy, but I, I think he's pretty good. And then, like, even, like, the Dark Horse, he's a little off. I still need to get this, because this is the most important thing I could add to it. Um, but, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope this kind of helped you guys on how to set up your runes. And, yeah, uh, join my guild if you want. We're, we're still missing some members. It's called Band of the Hawk. Uh, but, yeah, again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all.